Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today I'm at Lidl's and I'm going to share with you my top 15 finds here at this grocery store. Now, if you don't have a Lidl's, that's okay because what I'm going to share with you, I'm also going to teach you why these foods are good choices. I'm also going to share with you some points on some other foods that I really do not want you to have in your grocery list today. So before we get started, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet to this YouTube channel. If you're watching this on Facebook, go ahead and like the Facebook page. I'd love to see your likes there. And also, be sure you go to our website, thebiblicalnutritionist.com and sign up for our seven steps to amazing biblical health. That's how you get on our email list. And right now, email list is so important because we are moving different platforms around and we wanna make sure you stay engaged with this content because I am here to share with you God's recipe for excellent health. And always remember, the very first ingredient is to recognize is God's love for you. He's loved you from the moment of conception. Now, let's go see what I can find here at Lidl's. I've got some surprises for you. Here in my kitchen so I can share with you my top finds at this store called Lidl. Now, I'd love to know in the comments down below, do you have a Lidl in your neighborhood? If you don't, that's okay. You can find similar products in your store. We're just gonna look at what to look for on the label and then know is that a good buy or a not a good buy or a caution. And so most of these are gonna be good buys, but I still have some cautions here in front of me as well. So let's get started. The first one is organic maple syrup. It's a grade A, which is good. I talk about how to choose different maple syrups in the nutrition manual, so you might wanna check that book out. In the back, we're looking for where is it made, and it says USA and Canada. So that would be a good option. It is organic, so this would be a good option. I really look for this to go on sale. Typically, it's in the fall it'll go on sale because that's when the harvest season is, so they have more plentiful and it'll go on sale. So I will stock up. You can definitely stock up on this for even up to two years in your pantry. So if you're thinking, wow, if anything were to happen in this world and I need food to stock up on, that's a good option. Now the next one is our virgin coconut oil, unrefined and cold pressed. So very good information there. It is organic. And so once again, I wanna know where is this product from? So I'm looking on the back. And this is actually a product of Vietnam. So just keep that in mind when you're buying your products. I uh, always wanna know what country am I supporting and is that country supporting us in America? So just some thoughts for you. So that option is there as well. Then we come to flaxseed. Now, some of the stores that I've shopped at and taught you how to shop at before, you're gonna find a lot of their sunflower seeds and their flax seeds are actually a product of the Asian countries. This is actually a product of Canada. So this would be a better option for us. It is certified organic. <laughs> if your flaxseed ever goes bad, it's going to smell bad. So if you have it in a canister and you're like, wow, I haven't used that in a while and you take off the lid and it's like, well, that really smells then that means it's rancid. What you wanna do then is not throw it in the trash, throw it in your garden. Yeah, and if it's in the summertime, it will actually grow flaxseed plants and they get really pretty purple flowers on them. I had to throw quite a bit out because we didn't consume it fast enough. I'm also looking for a date and this is uh, definitely into 2021. So this is a good option. Next is ketchup. I always am stocked up on ketchup. And this again is an organic, and what I want to share with you is just in case there's ever an issue where we're going to be in a situation where we can't go to the store very often, we need to stock up, I always have ketchup on hand because my husband loves to have ketchup with his food. He's like one of those children that ketchup is one of his vegetables that he grew up on. Next, we have wild long grain brown rice, certified organic. Now, this is really kind of a small package, but just the fact that we have it on hand if we need it is a good, is something good to have, you know, stocked up on. This is good through December 2021. That's important as well. I could store this in a cold place that would keep it longer. And I always want to keep it sealed up. I like the packaging because it has a reseal stick there. 
Now I would probably re-put this in either a mason jar where it's sealed up nice and tight. I might even put an oxygen absorber in it just in case I'm not going to use it right away. But as long as it's sealed up in here, it is, it's going to be preserved for a long time. Um, looking again for where it's from. And it's actually a product of Italy. So um, depending on your thoughts of Italy, that would be a pretty much okay. Now, <laughs> this is not a food that I highly recommend just because there's just not a lot of nutritional value. Even though it will give you nutrition stats on the back, those are just standard facts and not necessarily a lot of good quality. But you need to have this on hand in case you ever are in a situation where you need to stock up on food or you just need to have something staple to get through a meal with your kids. So I do believe in having these on hand and because I like to enhance it with adding some meat or some beans and some other foods with it so I can enhance the nutritional value and just let this be kind of my, my beginning phase. I will admit I raised my kids on Hamburger Helper. Now I would never do that again, but I can kind of create my own Hamburger Helper by doing it myself, adding in all the different ingredients. So this is actually a product of the US and so it is organic, so it's an option. So I always look for these to go on sale and then I stock up. And mentioning go on sale, every time I go in a grocery store, I hit the clearance aisle. A lot of people don't know how to shop the clearance aisle. So I'm looking for organic and I'm looking for a date that's not too far out in the future. And you'd be surprised what all I have stocked up on in the clearance aisle. Spices. Now, this is oregano leaves, which you know I didn't really need to buy because I grow my own. I just go out and get it fresh all the time because it's a perennial. I can, I can do clippings off of it all year long. But I bought it anyway just to show you is that you can get organic spices there at the grocery store, typically not too expensive. And then you're always looking for an expiration date as well. And I do not see what country this is a product of. The expiration date goes all the way into 2023. Once this is opened, that date is no longer good. Once you've opened it, exposed it to the air, you need to utilize this within six to 12 months max, and then you need to throw it away and go buy some more. Then we have canned beans. I have some videos on how to choose a good can as far as buying our products in cans. It's not our best option because of the way the cans are, um, the, the coating of the cans. But if you're going to and you need it just to have ready to throw a meal together very quickly, then look for organic as far as the ingredients and look for BPA free as far as the lining of the can. And once again, I'm looking at this one and I do not see the country of origin, which is always very important. Uh, yep, it does not have it. So that is something you might wanna look into. So I just wanted to point this out. All right, next, let's go to breakfast. Now for breakfast, many people do a pre-made cereal. And I have a lot of issues with pre-made cereal because they're usually very heavy in sugar. Sugar creates a glucose spike, which then creates a mind dump. Like at 10 a.m., your kids are gonna be like, they can't think. And they need to go outside, they need to go play, they need some protein. And so oatmeal is a very healthy food. It's a very inexpensive food. And although this is old fashioned oats, it is organic. I really would prefer you have steel cut, but yet, you know, not everyone has the time to cook steel cut. Actually, you do have the time. You just need to learn how to work the time into your schedule. But this would be a good option and it's organic. If you haven't watched my video on glyphosate, you might want to check that out because organic foods have a lot less glyphosate on them than regular foods do. Now, if you're a proponent of like, hey, you think glyphosate is the, is the lifesaver of our world? Well, I still would prefer less on my food than, than what some of the foods have. Now, this next food I actually bought as a treat for my husband. He had kind of a rough holiday season and he didn't get to experience a lot of his favorites. So I bought him some organic dark chocolate. Now, this is a 70% dark chocolate, which is about the max number he will go. He really still likes his Hershey's, but I try to get him to just do dark chocolate and he'll be okay with this. He'll like it and rich and decadent. How You can't go wrong with that. It's fair trade. It's USA organic. And so this is going to be a good option. Once again, I'm looking for where it's, where it was produced. Some countries I like to support more than other countries. Okay, so this is Germany. All right, so there you go there. And yeah, he's gonna like this. He doesn't know I bought it for him yet. 
Okay, so typically organic pasta sauces are pretty easy to find in all of the grocery stores. They're fairly inexpensive, which makes me wonder, it's so much work for me to make a pasta sauce. How do they do it so cheaply? Now I did pick up some almond butter and I picked it up because I wanted to point out the only ingredient in almond butter should be almonds. It's not organic, but it was a really good price point. So I went ahead and grabbed it. We're not gonna be opening this up soon. It is non-GMO, of course it, it, almonds are anyway. It's really good protein. So if we ever have a food shortage or if you have kind of another lockdown, this would be a good food to have on hand. Now, because it's just almonds, some people may say, well, it doesn't have any salt or it doesn't have any sugar. Well, if you eat it with some sliced apples, that's a perfect breakfast, a perfect lunch, and maybe even a perfect snack if you eat snacks. It's a really high quality protein and our body will do well with this product. So the almond butter, be watchful for that and see when it goes on sale and then grab some. And then again, towards more of the breakfast items, some granola. Now granola can be tend to be high in sugar and this is another one that is kind of high in sugar. So it's 14 grams of sugar. It does have five grams of fiber. So the fiber is gonna help balance the blood sugar. So if you're going to do a granola, make sure it's an organic granola. What I have noticed is these boxes get lighter in weight. This is only 12 ounces. And so you, you um, have a lot of air in that package when you pick it up. But yet this makes a good topping on just, if you were to serve some fresh fruit for dessert, for lunch or for dinner, just sprinkle a little bit of granola on it. It makes it really good. This goes well on top of toast or on top of yogurt. Yeah, so just some fun ways to use granola. Now back to um, another way, one for breakfast. Now, <laughs> I am not a proponent of instant oatmeal, but if you are the type of person who likes to buy instant oatmeal for your kids or your family to get off to a quick start in the morning, then make sure you choose a better quality one. So if I was going to choose, this would be one. This is oats and flax. And so looking at the ingredients, I've got organic whole grain oats, organic cane sugar, and organic flaxseed and salt. So pretty simple on the ingredients and you can still have the ease of your morning, but you notice there's no added fruit or the fake fruits that some of those oatmeals have. Add the fruit yourself, okay? I would rather you add it yourself than it's real fruit. It's not a fake fruit and it's not fake sugars. So this has an expiration of 2022. This too would be a good food that you could stock up on in case there would ever be some type of situation where we have a food shortage or uh, inability to get to the grocery store. So I would stock up on these. The price point's not too bad and it's a better quality than the other ones that I think are kind of junk. Okay, so one more food item I wanna share with you. Actually, I have two. I picked up some of the antioxidant force drink because it is 100% juice and it says it's USDA organic. Now of the juices that it has in it, it has pomegranate, tart cherry juice, red grape juice, purple carrot juice, cranberry juice, and blueberry juice. Notice it didn't say apple. Many times they fill these with a lot of apple and then add a little bit of pomegranate for color. And so this should be a good choice. It is USDA organic. It's not from concentrate, which we talk about that also in our Treasures of Healthy Living Bible Study and Nutrition Manual. So if you don't have those, that's how I teach you how to go through all of the scripture from Genesis to Revelation, learn about what God's word teaches us, what were they talking about in that scripture, what was the context of the situation. Um, one of the most popular chapters is the chapter on meat. And so you might wanna check those books out. That's the Treasures of Healthy Living Bible Study and the Treasures of Health Nutrition Manual. Many people don't even realize that I have just published my 10th book. Yeah, I have been quite busy. <laughs> so I've been at this for a long time teaching people in the church how to be healthy. I was looking for source of origin. And okay, so this is coming out of Turkey through Pennsylvania, but this is coming out of Turkey. So to give you an idea about that. The only other food that is organic here, they did have some organic butter at a fairly good price. Now, another food I wanna share with you, it's not organic, but it is a, a company that I do buy from, and it's Goya, they have dried beans. Again, I want you to be prepared. I want you to be stocked up for whatever reason to always have food on hand. I've taught in my Proverbs 31 Prepper book how to be prepared, first of all, for one week, one month, three months, six months, and even a year, and how to plan that out. I walk you through exactly how to plan that out. 
Well, dried beans, these are chickpeas and black beans. A couple different things. I could mill these into a flour or I could just hydrate them, you know, re rehydrate, um, you know, bring them back to their normal phase and then use them in any recipe. Yet they store well. I would put these in a sealed container. I have several bags in a steel, in a concealed I have several bags in a sealed container to, to keep these fresh and to keep bugs from getting into it. I am very much a proponent of some food grade buckets that no bugs can get into. I use a lot of bay leaves and other things to keep the bugs away. But being stocked up means if anything happens and you know we can't go to the grocery store, you should always have start with one week. Stock your home up for one week, then stock your home up for a month and then move into three months. And once you have three months of food in your home that you will not have to go to the grocery store during those three months, you are doing really well. Then if a situation happens, you don't have to feel like, oh no, it, like chaos has happened. You can be confident. And if you've been with me for very long, you know I used to always start my videos with teaching you how to be confident in the kitchen and confident in understanding how much God loves you. God has taught us to be prepared not only spiritually but physically and as we're prepared spiritually we're able to handle what comes along when we're prepared physically that means we we have our health in place we have it exactly where it needs to be and also having our health in place means we have the mental focus to deal with anything that comes along so being stocked up in food for one week one month three months, six months, and then a year. So work your way up to that. In other videos, I teach you how to cook without power. So for right now, I just want you to start getting stacked up. Okay, that was more than what we had counted. Oh, I have one more. Now this we bought earlier, and it's an organic, organic four cheese pizza. Now I just wanna know in the comments below, have any of you ever bought a boxed pizza and enjoyed it? I mean, this was a good pizza for a box pizza, but I still have to doctor it up. I had to add some, some turkey, uh, turkey sausage to it. I had to add some more cheese and I had to add some flavorings because they just kind of taste like a box pizza to me. So I'd like to know your comments. Do you have a favorite boxed pizza or do you do like I do and doctor it up? So anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot. And remember, when we are prepared, both physically and spiritually, then nothing can come along and surprise us and catch us off guard. And the way we do that is understanding, number one, God's recipe for excellent health, which includes the main ingredient is an understanding that God loves you. So thanks for watching this video and being a part of the Biblical Nutritionist family. Please go to our website, thebiblicalnutritionist.com, sign up for our email so we can keep you informed on what's happening. Just in case we aren't able to reach out to you on social media, if you're on our email list, we can keep up with you. So thanks for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you are if you like this. If you learned one thing, I'd like to know what it was, write it down below. And until next time, I am Annette Reader from thebiblicalnutritionist.com. Thanks for watching.